Well, first tonight, a story that you'll see only here on Fox 26. Another parent coming forward with allegations of racism at a high school volleyball game. In fact, his mother has video of the moments her daughter's team was subjected to vile and inappropriate comments and gestures. Fox 26's Gabby Hart joining us live in our newsroom after speaking exclusively with that mother tonight. Gabby. Well, Jonathan, this makes the third time in less than a month that parents and students right here in Texas have complained about monkey sounds and slurs being spewed at high school volleyball teams. I can tell you these mothers have had enough. And tonight, this mother's message for the students accused of these actions is who raised you? I'm hoping to God that's not what they're learning at home. You know, a lot of these homes, it's just... Think about what you're modeling for your children. Karen Morton has an Afro Latina daughter who plays varsity volleyball for St. Agnes Academy in Houston. On August 16th, they faced off with Brenham High School. Morton says her daughter's team, made up of mostly minorities, had to deal with racist sound effects and slurs coming from Brenham High's fan section. She shared this video exclusively with Fox 26. The sound of monkey noises can be heard echoing through the school's gym. They heard it, you know, three minority girls at the net, like, what is that? You do everything you can to, to protect your children and you cannot protect, you cannot protect them from that. And Morton says the insults didn't stop there. You're a whore. Mm. And they did that to at least three of our team members. Another team uh, may heard the actual word monkey. Morton chose to speak up after she saw Fox 26's interview with Lakeisha Adams. Her daughter's Payto High School volleyball team had the same experience just two weeks ago. <laughs> monkey has long been used as a slur and racist reference to African Americans. These parents say they believe the people responsible for making those noises knew exactly what it meant. The unfortunate part, not just KDISD alone, the volleyball world, this isn't this isn't something that is foreign in the volleyball world and she has encountered it. At the beginning of September, volleyball players at Hayes High School outside of Austin, Texas, reported racial slurs being yelled at them during a volleyball match. And a university volleyball match was also recently the center of an investigation after a Duke University team reported the same kind of verbal abuse while facing off with BYU. These things stay with our children. The rest of you, you don't. It changes you. There's ways to support your team to have everyone enjoy it without traumatizing a person, a human being. Anna, we did reach out to Brenham ISD to see what actions they've taken to address those allegations. We're waiting to hear back, but these mothers say that they're tired of generic cookie cutter statements. They want to see real accountability, and they say they want students educated on the history and the pain attached to those words and gestures. Jonathan, back to you.